So the Flexible Milking Project is a three-year project funded by the Sustainable Farming Fund and Dairy NZ. And the, the premise of the project is to investigate the um, people, farm systems and um, animal effects of milking three times in two days. So the main aim of the Flexible Milking Project is to give confidence to farmers and advisors in how to optimise and, and best use three and two milking uh, to best fit their individual circumstances. And working towards the overall goal of enhanced wellbeing on farm, particularly trying to look at reducing work hours, but I think in the three and two context as well, providing increased flexibility for staff because milking times are occurring at different parts of the day, so it, it opens up opportunities. So there's four main activities over the, the course of the Flexible Milking Project. The first is in year one, and that's a farmlet study on the Lincoln University Research Dairy Farm, which is where we are today. The other one is interviewing farmers that are using three and two milking already, and in particular using how, how they're using it in a, in a range of different circumstances. In year two, the main activities will be taking the learnings from year one and two and piloting that on a couple of commercial farms and in particular they're looking at the effects on people and, and perceived effect of three and two on, on staff. And the other activity there will be another experiment looking at the range of flexibility that we've got in terms of the actual milking intervals. So three and two originally started at 16, 16, 16 hour intervals and that's sort of evolved now to the most common one being 12, 18 and 18. But what's to say at different times of the year we couldn't be using 10 and 19 and 19 or even throwing a 20 hour milking interval in there in the weekend to effectively get a once a day weekend. Year three of the project, the last activity there is some modelling work, which is our opportunity to address any unanswered questions that haven't been able to address in other parts of the research. For the first year there will be fortnightly updates from the farmlet study here, so head online to dairynz.co.nz slash 3 and 2 to sign up to receive those. And in year two there will be a monthly update from the commercial farm pilots and the results from the component experiment looking at those different intervals.